74% of men love when their partners talk dirty to them. Even if a girl is in a relationship, she often likes two guys at the same time. Studies have shown that sex and its quality are best when men have abstained from sex for up to two days, increasing men's sexual interest and being perceived as pleasant and familiar. Self-confidence is a superpower. Once you start to believe in yourself, magic starts happening. Girls who have strict parents always remember that diamonds have high security. The person who doesn't leave your mind is likely to be someone who hurt you the most. According to one study, women prefer a slightly smaller penis overall for long-term partners compared with one-time partners. If a man masturbates before going to the gym, it can positively affect his workout. You can beat 99% of people by preparing the night before, showing up early, leaving only when the job is done right, remembering people's names, following up, and improving one thing each time. Six types of people to surround yourself with. People who tell you the truth. People who encourage you. People who make space for your emotions. People who model qualities you admire. People who understand and accept you. And people who want what's best for you. Seven reasons your spouse blames you for everything. Marriages thrive when both partners equally invest in sustaining and nurturing the relationship. It's about sharing responsibility and working together to make it successful. However, there are times when your relationship reaches a point where your partner continually blames you for everything. This behavior can stem from various reasons some of which you might be aware of, while others may be less obvious. Here are seven reasons why your spouse might be blaming you for everything. 1. They have low self-esteem and confidence. A person with low self-esteem and a lack of confidence often faces challenges in a relationship. They may have difficulty liking themselves, and as a result, when they're struggling, they tend to blame those around them instead of seeking help. 2. They are controlling. Some people strive for perfection, which is unrealistic in real life. These individuals are strict perfectionists who can't tolerate others not meeting their standards. As a result, if you fall short of their expectations, you are often the one who gets blamed. 3. They are stressed. Life can be extremely stressful at times. If your partner has been dealing with a lot of stress lately, they may seek an outlet for their anger and frustration. This often results in them blaming you for anything and everything. 4. They are self-obsessed. A self-obsessed, narcissistic person will never take responsibility when things go wrong. Narcissists are convinced they're always right and will shift the blame onto others. In such a relationship, you may find yourself constantly apologizing for everything. 5. They are unhappy. If your partner is blaming you for everything, it likely indicates dissatisfaction with the relationship. Instead of addressing the issues directly, they choose to blame you for everything. This is the moment when it's crucial to take action and address the situation. 6. They aren't ready to change. Change can be daunting for many people. They often resist involvement in situations that require personal growth. Rather than embracing positive change, they may shift the blame onto you for any shortcomings in the marriage. 7. They don't like taking responsibility. Some people are unwilling to fully take responsibility for their actions. Even if they are at fault, they refuse to acknowledge it. They often believe they are contributing more to the relationship than they actually are, which may not reflect the reality of the situation. Ways to build intellectual intimacy in relationships. Intellectual intimacy involves connecting on a level beyond just physical and emotional bonds. 
It occurs when two people engage with and inspire each other's minds, contributing to a stable and healthy relationship. Couples who share a strong intellectual connection often experience greater happiness, as like-minded individuals tend to work well together. Here are some ways to foster intellectual intimacy in relationships. 1. Share similar interests and attitude. Building a relationship where you and your partner share common interests is highly advantageous. Viewing the world similarly and holding comparable opinions on news, debates, and other topics creates a strong bond and, most importantly, provides significant support for each other. 2. Read together. Books are an excellent way to expand minds and enhance vocabulary. Truly, there's no better way to bond than by reading classic romantic novels together. Establishing a weekly book club is a fantastic method for deepening your intellectual connection. Choose books of the same genre together to make the experience even more engaging. 3. Binge Watch Movies When we say movies, we're referring to thrilling and mysterious ones, rather than just light-hearted rom-coms. Choose films that engage both of your minds and challenge you to anticipate the outcome. While intense genres are great, lighter comedies can also be a good option for fostering intellectual connection. 4. Come in terms with each other's values. Many couples often clash over political views and opinions. However, if you both align on core values such as honesty, fairness and rights, it can enhance your intimacy. Experts suggest that partners are more drawn to each other when they share similar perspectives on these fundamental issues. 5. Talking about past experiences. Discussing past experiences can relieve a great deal of built-up insecurity, stress and anxiety. If you have a painful history, being open about it can strengthen your connection with your partner. This moment of vulnerability is so profound that it can bring you and your partner closer than ever. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.